Good morning, guys. We're back at it again with another video. John's in the garage. I just It's winter time again, so we have the, the echo going on because the doors are closed and I have to have a heater on. But we're doing a CB radio install on John's Jeep today as well as something else. This is probably going to be two videos, so I'm not going to tell you what the other thing is right now. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by disassembling this. So the kit John has is the Cooltech mount kit that I have on my Jeep and he got the color match paint to color match this. So this is gonna mount here. His tire looks to be a little bit in the way. So we might have to flip that upside down, but either way, we're gonna get it done. It's gonna look very nice. So that's the mounting bracket for the antenna. And then he has the 75 WXST that I have as well. It's gonna be mounted fairly similar to how mine is. And you guys will see how it goes. So stay tuned. Oh, by the way, if this is your first time to the channel, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. Please subscribe to the channel if you like it, guys. All right, guys, so the first step is going to be to, hold on, John, take off your uh, your spare tire. And then if you grab in this corner here, you can get a bite on this back tray, and you can start pulling it off with your hand. Just be careful not to break any of the clips. Just go easily nice around. And some of the clips are probably going to get stuck in, but that's fine. You can pull them back out as long as you don't break anything. Alright guys, next we're just lifting up these little tabs here, and we're going to unscrew these from the deck. Next we're going to go and remove this guy here, and it pops right out now that you remove those three bolts, just like so. And we can also go ahead and remove this carpeted deck. Now we have the fun part and it's removing the subwoofer. I've done this like 16 times now and I hate it every single time. So this is gonna be fun. Yeah, I can do it with my fingers. Actually, take that little piece out. Yep, there we go. Pull everything away. Yeah. Same kind of clips, like. Um. Right, so that. Yep. There we go. There we go. All right, and subwoofers removed. Okay, so I did some stuff off camera. I removed these zip ties from this sheathing because we're going to run the coax into the sheathing. That way it has a nice factory look. I took this zip tie apart so we can plug it back into the hole and we're done. So it's going to look really nice and really open. Alright guys, next we're going to use this rubber grommet to run the coax wire. So if you see what we did here, where I put the wire, here it is. See what we did here is we took the coax end off to make it so we have a smaller feeding surface through so we don't have to make as big of a hole. And then we're gonna pull it through and start running it through the sheeting as incoherently we can start getting the mount taken care of right here and getting these bolts unscrewed after we get the wire ran. That's what you're gonna be seeing next. the grommet snaked through the coax wire here so now we can snake our coax through this hole and John can grab it from the other side it's it's a tight fit it disappeared on me. I took it out oh give me the God. give me the hook oh no just stick it in because I, I it was right real close
Alright, I thought it was So what you wanna do is feed your wire through the factory sheathing that holds all the wires that go to the tailgate. That way you just get a nice clean look and you know nothing's getting pinched. So this is just pain in the butt. Pole should be able to pull right through. Yeah, I'm just taking it Perfect. Yep. Beautiful. That's all of it. Yep. All right, guys. So we cheated. That's a good tip right there. Use a cold wire coat hanger to pull the coax through. That worked a thousand times easier than the way I did it last time, and I don't know why I didn't think to do that in the first place. But you learn the more times you do it. That's right. It's called experience. And now you can go and put the, uh, the little zip tie back, the little wall mount zip tie. Okay, since John's running a bigger tire and it's a little in the way, so we're gonna run this bracket upside down. We have a big washer in the back, a little washer there, and we're just gonna screw this bad Larry on. Sure you only torque it down to 100 foot pounds. Oh, only 100? <laughs> on, only 100. Good measure, one, 125. Okay, guys. So the only thing here is going to be the stud in the bottom. You're going to put the plastic washer, the washer, the lock washer. This guy. Screw that all down. And then on top of that guy, what I suggest to use and what John is using is a quick disconnect. So you can screw the quick disconnect right into that guy. And then after the quick disconnect goes your antenna. That's upside down. And then go ahead and tighten all of this up with the appropriate sized wrenches. So everyone's gonna be a little different. Come on, you. There we go. All right. So now we're just running wire. So what I like to do is feed it and follow all these wires that are already here. So we're gonna take all this I'm gonna feed it over here. And realistically, I can just tuck it behind this plastic piece in between the bed rail. So I'm gonna have John pull the cable, get rid of all this slack here, and then I can tuck it. Keep pulling. And from here, we can tuck it behind the carpet up here. Okay guys, so running that wire is a huge pain in the butt, so we did a lot of that off camera. Uh, the only thing that's really a pain in the butt about it is getting it so that the body clips will go back in because the wire will sit on top of it. The way the clips work is really weird. It's like this up down motion thing with that they slide in this way. So you just gotta finagle a little bit. You can do it, it's just a pain in the butt. All right guys, once your wire is all arranged, Alright guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fish through that grommet up there. You just saw my phone. We're going to fish through that grommet up there. And then we're going to get it down back in here and fish it up. I'm doing this off camera because you guys aren't going to... Actually, you know what? I'll put the camera down where John is. You'll be able to see that. You're not going to be able to see anything from inside of the cab because I'm going to be in some weird angles. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to stick. You got to do what you got to do. Alright guys, so off camera we 
routed the wires through the cab, which is just one grommet. It's a pain in the butt, takes a lot of time. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. And then we just positive to positive, negative to negative, and that's all good there. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and tune the CB radio, which is a little bit time consuming. There's a lot of good videos on how to do that. I'm not gonna explain it to you guys, but that's, that's what we're doing next. All right guys, we're just about finished up here. All we have to do is mount the antenna box up under the glove box. So pretty much gonna mount it up there. I'm gonna show you clips of where I put it on my Jeep to make life and time easier. While John's doing that. So I can show you real fast. That's where mine is zip tied up. It's right by the uh, passenger side feet teeter things um but that's it guys you saw the entire install that's all for today's video like share comment subscribe do all that typical youtube jazz and i think it came out pretty well also when we tuned his antenna it worked out pretty pretty on point we didn't have to mess with it at all which was really nice so that's it guys have a good one but it's too late now i remember you and me and how careless we yeah. be. All day and all night. We'd stay up, it felt so right.